I feel like I'm almost cracking this new system, and I'm loving the fact that I'm sharing the progress with you. I'm not sure if you are enjoying it, but I am, so I'll keep sharing. Anyway, I have a few things to share with you today, and also some rambling. <laughs> so let's take a look at it. Yesterday, you saw me removing the timeline from the timeline notebook from the shortcuts. Again, this is my uh, tests account. Then I went to my main account and did the same thing, removed it from there. But when I finished working on yesterday's video, I grabbed the file, the note, to archive it in the timeline notebook and to my surprise, <laughs> it wasn't there anymore. So, Yes, the timeline has to be here to make my life easier. So this is why it is here. And on that note, you might also remember that I was debating, I was thinking about, I, I tend to say debating because I actually debate with myself. <laughs> <laughs> I have this two personas trying to figure out what's the, the best thing to do. I'm more and more inclined to keep notebooks that are uh, things that I'm working on. So, for example, uh, here in family, in my Rio account, I have documents. This, these are the documents that I used to have inside the documents notebook. I moved them all to the family and each one, for example, I don't know if I have my, I don't know, uh, ID card, for example. And yeah, this is kind of what I'm doing. And this list is already very long. So if I have the names, I can filter, for example, I want to see all my documents. So I can filter by documents and then add another filter, uh, my name. And then I can see only the documents that are related to my name, my documents. So why I was talking about this? <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember now. <laughs> when I was moving all the documents from each family member notebook into the family uh notebook and adding the, the tags and doing what I showed you in the last video, uh, I noticed some old documents there were not valid anymore. So what I did was just move them to the, oh, this is not correct. What happened here? Oh yeah, it is. I added, <laughs> I added the, <laughs> Okay, this is me. Okay, now it's correct. That's me. Okay, so I noticed those documents don't need to be here anymore. Since they already have the tags, documents, and my name, I can move these documents that are not valid anymore to the timeline and only keep the valid documents inside this notebook. So what I'm trying to come up with is a way to only have wor things that I'm working on, only have notebooks for things that I'm working on at that moment. I mean, at, at that moment, presently, currently working on. Everything else I can move to the timeline as long as it is tagged, because that's what's going to allow me to find that information in the future if I need to. One thing that is making me very happy is this arrangement of having the backlog notebooks in the shortcuts area and the numbers. For example, today I had, uh, where is that clients? I had a discovery call with a potential client and as usual, I created a, a, a note for that person and added the calendar entry. And below that, I took my notes, okay? Take a look at the shortcuts area now. Clients now has the number one. And those numbers, they keep growing on my real account. They go up 
and go down because when I complete something, I move that to the timeline. But having that number there makes me instantly realize that there is something that I have to do. In this case, I need to do a follow-up. And this is where tasks come in handy. I would do something like this. I did something like this today. I'm not going to talk about tasks today, but again, this arrangement, this notebooks, give me context. If I go to home, I told you I was not going to talk. Well, uh, <laughs> if you go back to my tasks videos, you see that I talk a lot about this side of the widget. And here it is, Mr. Elephant. So I know that this is a follow-up and is related to Mr. Elephant. And if I need to take a look at it, all I have to do is click here. Yeah, but I told you I was not going to talk about tasks. But keep in mind that the notebooks, this work in progress, they are helping me in so many ways. And a side effect of this shortcuts area is that it brings back so many memories. This was the only hackable space Evernote had in the past. I'm talking way, way, way back then, before tasks, before the calendar, before Evernote 10, even before uh, uh, reminders. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> how long I go with Evernote. So the shortcuts was something always hackable. It is very special that I'm using this space again. And I started using it again because I lost uh, at quick access to home here. And now the shortcuts are filling in. Another thing that is bringing back old memories is this that I'm doing for uh, the last few days, talking to you about the progress of something I'm doing on Evernote. Uh, I used to, this was 2015, 2014, maybe around that. I had this podcast in Portuguese. It would be translated to something like the Elephant's Journal. And I would record every single day at the end of the day about something that I used Evernote for. I would record on my phone and, and post it right there. I think I was using SoundCloud. I don't remember, but I, I was just recording and posting. And then it became, uh, 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 after some months, it became a weekly podcast. And then, of course, I had to make things more complicated, microphones and <laughs> things like that. But at that time, I, the only thing I... YouTube already existed, but it, I... I I would publish, I don't know, every two or three months uh, 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 a small tutorial, no face, just uh, uh, voiceover. And people would ask me to create a, a video cast. I, I don't even know if that word existed back then, but they wanted something where they could see what I was talking about uh, on the podcast. And But I definitely was not prepared for that. And it took me many more years to start uh, a YouTube channel. And here we are. I'm kind of doing that. I don't know if for how long this will <laughs> last. And I definitely don't know what you guys are thinking about this. So please let me know what you're thinking about this last few videos. For now, thanks for watching. See you soon.